है गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू नदर वीडियो आई होप एवरी वन डूइंग ग्रेट इट्स बीन अ वाइल दैट आई वेंट पोस्टेड द वीडियोज एंड ऑल ऑफ अ सडन देर वॉज अ प्लान एंड टूडे आई एम ट्रैवलिंग टू दक्षिण कर्नाटका दैट इज साउथ कैनरा एंड आई एम अकम्पनीड बाई वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड एंड टूडे आई वुड बी ट्रैवलिंग टू कोल्लोरू that is towards the kollur mukambika temple and kodachadri uh, so i need to pick up my friend who was waiting on the way so let me pick him up and uh, catch up with you guys well guys i just uh, picked up my friend mr dinesh who's been a friend to me from the past 30 years since my primary schooling days and uh, we have just uh, reached nelmangla now planning to have a small uh, break and apart from that um, i would like to share about my friends in a different video where we have a group of about 9 people whom we are friends from the past 30 years and in touch even till today we'll share that on a later video and now we are just done with our break and uh, we are heading towards uh, the tumkur road well we passed the badra wildlife and now uh, we see this uh, badra dam or the lakavili dam which is created the badra reservoir which is a tributary of uh, the tungabhadra river uh, badra dam is also located on the border of badravati and uh, tarikere uh, now we have passed uh, tirthalli and we are close to kolluru mukambika temple first we will be heading towards the river soparnika this is called the river soparnika the water of this river is particularly considered to be holy there is a short story behind this there was an eagle by name suparna which had performed penance and finally attained salvation so this is how the river got its name soparnika according to the mukambika temple history it is believed that it is the only one temple that is dedicated to the goddess parvati history as it that parvati had killed kamsasuran who had become very powerful demon with the help of virabhadra shiva and ganapati the goddess parvati was successful to make kamsasuran dumb this is how he started to be called mukasuran the word muka means dam eventually parvati killed him with her chakra this incident took place in the night of shuklashtami after this the devi came to be popularly known as kolluru devi mukambika the divine energy of this devi can be worshiped with the lingam by kollamaharshi when you visit this temple you will be able to see this lingam as the main deity worshippers call this jyotirlingam well kolluru mukambika temple history can be traced back to nearly 1200 years ago goddess saraswati received extreme prayers from shankaracharya and the goddess saraswati appears to acknowledge his prayers and shankaracharya awoke his wish to the goddess and she would come along with him to kerala where there was no temple still then to her respect she agreed on one condition that he would lead the way and he would not look back or doubt on her presence even for one time 
Based on that condition, Shankaracharya leads the way down the Kodachadri hills and the tangling sound of the goddess keeps him canny. And after a while, as it stops, he turns back to take a look at the goddess. As he fails to the condition, the goddess stops at that moment and place. Then Shankaracharya effusively apologizes her and requests to come along with him. After looking at it, goddesses agree to go with him and in the morning she would remain at the uh, Chotanikare temple and she would come back, return back to Kollur temple the midday. And by the time we reached Kolluru, it was almost uh, 2 o'clock and 2 o'clock the temple closes and again it reopens at 3 p.m. And we had a good darshan and we were out of the temple by around 4.30. And now we have started a journey towards Udupi. And now we have reached Udupi and now the time is around 6.45 p.m. And now we are heading towards the ticket counter to take a quick darshan ticket which costs about 100 rupees per person. And by the time we reached Mangalore, it's around 8.30 p.m. in the evening and we have checked into the hotel and that's it for today and see you all in the next video. Take care and good night.